Okay, for our stem and leaf diagram uh, question then, we recognise that uh, we've got to fill the table in, um, a conveniently drawn one for us, and we should always remember that we have to do a key for the stem and leaf diagram. And the idea of the stem and leaf diagram is that we split the numbers given to us up into their component parts. So here we can see we've got numbers in the tens and the units. So for example, 19, we want to split that so that it's going to be tens down and the units on the other side. So we look at the numbers and we fill in the table. So we know the table is going to go 1, 2 for 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s, and we can fill it in in several ways. Um, this space has been given so that you could actually do it in an unordered fashion and then rewrite it in the ordered way. So we can go through each one uh, one by one. So we start with 19, so 9. Uh, 18, 110 and 8, and then 20, uh, it's going to be 0, 210 per unit, uh, 5, 37, uh, 33, 21, uh, 17, 29, uh, 20, so 0, uh, 42, 18, uh, 23, and we need a 3 in there, uh, 37, uh, 7, and 22. So there's a 2 there as well. So we've got the unordered uh, table there in the sense so I always try and put it into some form of order um, to start with, and then we can go through. But obviously, we should check that we've actually got the same number of numbers as they said in the question. So they said there were 15 students, so we should be checking that we've got 15 uh, digits on the unit side here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the final answer should be in ordered fashion. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And we had 7, 8, 8, and 9. And then we had 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 9. And then 3, 7, 7. And then 2. And again, one final check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And the key could be any example. Remember, we split the uh, numbers up into tens and units. So we could have 2, uh, and then 3, and then we should be saying that that's equal to 23. And it's about ages, so really we ought to put the units down. So 2 stroke 3 is 23 unit years. So again, we split the units into the numbers, sorry, into tens and then units. And that's how uh, we should think about doing a stem leaf diagram. Other things you can do with a stem leaf diagram, um, they could ask you to do the mode. And so we can look through here, we've got several numbers that have got two of each. So we've just got to remember that this 7 is 37. So if they ever ask you to do the mode, then there'd be 18, uh, there'd be 20, and then there'd be 37 in this table. So there'd be three modes, so it'd be a trimodal system. Um, if they asked us for the median, then that's the uh, number in the middle. And they're all in size order. Well, the beauty of a semi-leaf diagram is that they're all in order anyway. So because we've got 15 numbers in the table, then we could put uh, one more on top of that, 16, now the 8, so we've got the 8th number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this would become the median if that's what the question wanted. So it's just an alternative uh, thing about semi-leaf diagrams that you could be using them for to calculate the mode, to calculate the median. Or we could be asked to calculate the range. Um, we recognise the range is the biggest number. In this case, it's 42. Take away the smallest number, 17. Um, we could also be asked to think about the distribution. And we can see that uh, in this case, most of the uh, ages of the 15 students are in their 20s. Uh, it's got a longer list here. So we can say that uh, the modal uh, class interval is in their 20s, uh, from 20 to 29. So, summary of stem leaf diagrams.